I am joined now by David Mooney, winner of the 2018 MRS Mid-Career Researcher Award. Congratulations on your award. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. So let's talk a little bit about your talk title. It is Biomaterials for Mechano Regeneration. What exactly is that and how do biomaterials play into that? So I define mechano regeneration as the use of mechanical cues to promote the regeneration of tissues and organs in the human body. And this is in contrast to the chemical signals that we more frequently think about from biology. So here what we're interested in are things like stresses and pressures, as well as the intrinsic forces that cells themselves generate and apply on their surroundings. And so we use materials to either manipulate and impose forces on cells and tissues, or we use materials that have variable resistance to the cell-generated forces, and this is a means to control the function of the cells and how they participate in regeneration. Your work also has an impact on stem cell therapies. Uh, explain the impact. Yes, so in regeneration, as in development, it's believed that stem cell populations play a key role in rebuilding tissues and organs. So if we want to cause regeneration, at the end of the day, we're going to need to impact stem cell biology. And we know from the very earliest stages of development that physical forces regulate stem cell, their specialization, their formation into tissue structures, and the, and the function of those tissues. So the work we're doing, in essence, is trying to control stem cells that either we place in the body or that already exist in the body, and we're using these materials to do this via physical cues or mechanical cues. And we also know that your work uh, has already led to a number of uh, beneficial devices. What are some of those devices and what are the impacts that you see coming down the line? Yes, so we've done, we've worked in a wide variety of different spaces that use materials to manipulate biology in the body. So some of the devices and materials that we've created in the past have been hydrogel forming materials that present specific means for cells to attach and control their behavior. So these have been commercialized and are widely used in a number of different settings. We've developed materials that can be used to release specific chemicals, more or less controlled drug delivery systems that are also used in a number of medical indications. And most recently, we've been developing materials that induce immune responses against cancer and cause killing of cancerous cells. And we hope uh, ultimately cure of cancer, and these latter are in the early stages of human clinical trials at this point in time. Now where I see things going in the future is that we will have materials that are better able to mimic some of the signaling that normally happens in our body and drive uh, these types of cell behaviors where we can, let's say, get cells to come to a particular location in the body where we'd like them to be, manipulate those cells, and then send them elsewhere and this is going to be useful in a wide variety of different types of cell therapies, including some of the immunotherapies I mentioned, a lot of the stem cell therapies, and biomaterials will help these become more standard therapies to treat human disease. That is fantastic. Let's talk a little bit on a personal uh, note, your involvement with MRS. Yes. Uh, how long have you been a member and how has it impacted your career? Yes, I've been a member of MRS for a very long time. I first started coming to uh, MRS meetings when I was a graduate student, and at that point in time, my research was very biologically focused, and what coming to MRS opened up my eyes to the possibility of actually using materials to control biology. So it really played a, a very important role in the path I've taken in my career. Um, after uh, I was a graduate uh, student, I, when I became faculty, I then moved on and organized symposia, was ultimately a chair for one of the meetings a few years ago, and I've been serving on the program committee for the last few years. And it's through all these engagements, it's really allowed me to see uh, new ideas, new strategies to manipulate materials in a wide variety of different fields, and allowed me to, in essence, borrow ideas from different fields and apply them to what we're doing. Um, so it's uh, supplied a tremendous amount of inspiration to our work. That is wonderful. Well, thank you for talking with us and congratulations on your award, David Mooney. We appreciate it. My pleasure.